Have you ever met with an electric shock when touching an electric appliance? The answer will be yes from most of you. Yes even myself has got minor electric shock multiple times when working with electrical appliances. What is the reason for this? The answer is nothing but lack of proper earthing. In a properly earthed wiring network, all the appliance body is connected to a common point and is finally connected to an earth pit. It is always safe to use three pin plugs for the electrical appliances because, it is through the third biggest pin, body of all appliances are connected to earth. In this video we are going to discuss about a protection device called ELCB or earth leakage circuit breaker. It is quite usual to have damage or wear and tear for the body or insulating parts of the electrical appliances. During such conditions, the live parts will come in contact with the body of the equipment where we usually touch. If your domestic electric wiring is properly done and appliance body is properly linked to earth, ELCB. If provided in the circuit will get tripped and will isolate from electric supply in case of any leakage current. Thus, if all our electrical appliances are properly earthed, an ELCB will protect us from getting electric shock. Today we are going to see the working of an earth leakage circuit breaker or an ELCB. As the name suggests the ELCB breaks the power to a circuit when there is a leakage current to the earth. Insulation damages, water entry etc. may cause leakage current in the equipment. For example, consider a refrigerator, and it is a very old one which is having its insulation deteriorated. In such case there might be a voltage on the fridge body. When a person touches this equipment, he may get electric shock, but if we have ELCB in the system this won't happen. So how ELCB is protecting us? First of all we'll see the parts of an ELCB. The major parts inside are Core Balance Current Transformer Sensing Coil Tripping Relay Test Button The incoming phase and neutral is connected to the terminals of the ELCB. Current after entering into the ELCB first flows through the primary coil of the Core Balance Current Transformer or CBCT, then to the appliance. Then back to the secondary coil and finally circuit ends with neutral. When electricity flows, the phase current and neutral current will create a magnetic flux inside the CBCT. If the entering phase current to the circuit is equal to the leaving neutral current, then it means that there is not leakages in the circuit. At this point the flux created by the phase coil and neutral coil will be the same. And it will cancel each other and the breaker won't trip. Now consider a case where there is an insulation damage in the equipment under consideration, in this case there will a leakage current to the earth inside the machine. We can see that the phase current is now the sum of neutral current and the earth leakage current. Which makes the phase current different from neutral current. In this condition the flux created by the phase and neutral coils will not be the same inside the CBCT. This cause a differential flux inside the CBCT this differential flux will be sensed by the sensing coil and this coil initiates the trip. The test button on the ELCB is used to test the operation of the ELCB, to ensure that's it's in operational condition. When we press the button, it connect the output of phase coil to the neutral through a high resistance. This will create an unbalanced flow of current in phase and neutral coil, causing ELCB to trip, this ensures that the ELCB is operational. To initiate the tripping of the breaker, the differential current between the phase and neutral, that is, the leakage current should be higher enough, for the ELCB to trip. Usually this leakage current or in other words, sensitivity, will be written on the ELCB. This will be in the range of milliamperes. See here, the sensitivity is 30 milliamperes. The another rating shown here is the rated continuous current, which the breaker can carry without getting damaged. In this example, the continuous rated current is 63 amperes. ELCB is very important to be installed for the protection and safety of man and machine. 
So today we have covered the elementary basics of an ELCB. Hope this is useful for you. Post your valuable comments below. Thank you.